This review is a little late, but here it is. The Nexus 6B has a beautiful 5.7 inch Quad HD AMOLED display covered with Gorilla Glass 4. My only complaint about the screen is that it can be a little hard to see in direct sunlight, but most phones are anyway. The camera is amazing in normal conditions, but somewhere that the camera does even better is in low light conditions. So here's some different examples of pictures and videos from the Nexus 6P. The 6P was designed to impress, and some people even say that the P stands for premium, and I can't disagree with them. It has a metal unibody design that comes in matte gold, aluminum, frost, and my favorite, graphite. The phone feels very solid and should be okay if you drop it from a few feet in a thin case. The only thing I don't like about the front-facing speakers is that they are really quiet until around 50% volume, and then they just start blasting, so there's no in-between area. On the back of the phone is the fingerprint scanner called Nexus Imprint. It is fast and accurate. The 3450 milliamp hour battery lasts all day for me, and I usually still have some charge left over. One of my complaints about the phone are that they didn't include wireless charging. Google said that they didn't include it because USB-C made it easier to plug in, and because wireless charging adds thickness to the phone. So I do sort of understand why they didn't put wireless charging in. Speaking of USB-C, I like it because you can use an adapter like this one from Hutu I review and plug in flash drives, mice, keyboards, monitors, and more straight into the phone with the adapter. One of my favorite things though about the phone is that it's unlocked and you can use it on any carrier, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon. You can even use it on track phones network if you buy a SIM kit from them. I explain a little bit more about the network switching and how you can use it with different networks in my Nexus 6 review, which you can check out right here. The software is stock Android and straight from Google, so you get all of the updates before to Android before anyone else gets them. I also like the software tricks that Google threw in too, like the ability to double press the power button to open the camera. One great thing about all of the Nexus phones is that you can get previews of upcoming OSs. That is why my 6P is running and the Android N beta. The Nexus 6P is my phone of choice and I would recommend it to anyone looking for a great Android phone or anyone coming from an iPhone to Android and looking for a phone with similar build quality and software experience. If you want to get one for yourself, I have the links to the Nexus 6P down in the description. And if you want a phone that is like this but you don't want to spend $500, check out my Nexus 6 review. Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts on the Nexus 6P in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Tyler Tech for some more tech videos.